Hi everyone, I'm Ron, Marvel Man at themarvelman.com. Tip of the week number three. This is also one of my favorites. It's called Lost Eras. In my opinion, like I've told you, if, uh, for those of you who know who I am, I feel that there are seven lost eras of collecting comics. Okay, Some of them are very well known. Golden Age, Silver, Bronze, and Marvel, which most of you are used to. There is also Victorian, Platinum, and Atomic Age. They're also very, very important, and they are the forefathers and mothers of some of the characters that you will see developed today and are still with us. The areas I will cover will be the more common eras, from Golden to Modern Age. The more advanced expert collector will be more interested in the Victorian and Platinum Ages and these areas I will cover at a much later date. Okay, today's concentration is the Golden Age and what I've decided to do is pick Marvel Comics. Three characters I'm sure you're, you've heard of. Captain America, the Human Torch, and the Submariner. Where did they get their start? These are Golden Age characters. That's right kiddies. They came out in 1940 to 1941. They were protectors of our armed forces and America during World War II. Also, there were spin-offs, sidekicks, and partners that stayed at home to protect the homelands while the big three were out helping America at war. Some of the spin-offs, Bucky, Turo, and the Young Allies, all were born during this time of strife and evil. The Golden Age also offered DC comic books, which you know as Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, All-Star Teams, um, the Justice Society, which years later became the Justice League of America. But what I really need you to concentrate on, and I strive over and over again, is please go out, pick a comic title that you like, become more familiar with it and the characters, and again, the history is so important. So research your favorite characters, and you will marvel at your discoveries and ultimately your buying decisions.